Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at Blue Cat's Parametric EQ. Now this EQ is pretty sick because it has some really cool features like oversampling and non-linear. And what that means is that if I wanted to make or mimic what an analog EQ would do, I could definitely do it, right? Stimulating, or sorry, stimulating, simulating compression and distortion that might happen in, a, in an analog EQ, I can definitely do it, right? So it's your basic parametric EQ. Nonetheless, I can move left and right, find exactly what I want to edit, change my bandwidth, no problem. Let's bump up that 100 mark. More kick! Right? Also, it has some cool features like a brick wall limiter, just in case I pull, I push too hard. Don't want to distort at all, maybe I get something really clean. Right? Has an auto gain feature, just in case. Definitely change and customize the settings here so you can go up 40 or up by 10 decibels which is really nice. So I can do some crazy, crazy cuts by going at 40, right? You can definitely type in and input the digits that you want to uh, edit at, the decibels you want to go at. I can also just right click to undo or alt click to undo. I can access some presets here by right clicking uh, the different bands, or I can go to the menu. I can load some skins, which is pretty cool. Has undo, redo feature. It's like a you know pretty much basic parametric EQ that combines both digital and analog worlds, right? Which is really cool. might be piercing a little too much which is really uh, one thing that's really cool is that it's zero latency so check this out I'll push up a little high I'll move over I can do some crazy cool stuff if I wanted to hook up to a sequencer or perhaps a MIDI controller I can definitely use this live which is really awesome you also have your trippy window opacity fader right here. I love this thing. This thing's so trippy. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this episode. Again, this EQ stands out the most because it combines the digital and analog worlds by having the uh, oversample and non-linear features, which is pretty sick. Again, it has a brick wall limiter, and everything is pretty much customizable. I'm Dandy from Music Marketing TV, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Peace!